What's going on guys? Uh, it's a bit of a crazy day for me today. So this video is being done in my car. Not while I'm driving, I'm not that talented, but um, that is how dedicated I am to bringing you guys the best GPP content out there. So uh, let's jump right into the picks. All right, so today's pitching slate is pretty interesting. Uh, there's uh, only a few um, high price guys. The rest of the guys are pretty pretty low price, but I think they carry some upside. So I think most what most people will do is go Lester plus a cheaper guy and then fill in as many upside bats as they can. Uh, my suggestion is that we punt both pitching spots and fill in all of the bats uh, that we can. In all honesty, I don't think there is uh, we're losing much by paying down for pitching today. So I am going to go in depth, in depth and discuss why I think that is the case. Um, let's talk about Lester first. Will he get blown up? I don't think so. He will probably pitch seven innings, strike out seven or eight guys, maybe give up a run or two, and most likely will get you the win. Uh, when you add all that up, it's between like 25 and 30 DK points, which I think is pretty awesome on a normal slate. But on today's slate, we have some cheap guys and great matchups that I can, that I think can get you something very similar to that. So let's see uh, who those guys are. Um, DeGrom is cheaper, but uh, yeah, we're not going to pay up for him today. His fastball is down two miles an hour. He got blown up by the Padres, of all people, uh, last week. So um, he's not the same guy just from the good old eye test. So I think... Uh, we can pass on him pretty uh, pretty safely today. Uh, Smiley is uh, another guy that I'm a big fan of. Uh, that being said, I think his line today will be similar to Lester's. And even though we're saving about 2K here from Lester to him, I think we can go even lower. Uh, Tanaka is another guy that I think is super safe for 20 points today. Uh, I don't think he's going to get you much more though. So I think we can go down even lower. Uh, Gaussman uh, is interesting today. Uh, Twins offense is a little scary at home. I think that while Gaussman is certainly in play, I don't think he's going to go off and give you a GPP winning score today. So let's uh, let's go down even further. So the first guy I really like is uh, Joe Ross. I think he is clo has close to an optimal matchup today. He will likely face only one lefty batter who he struggles, uh, he, he struggles more against lefties and dominates righties. So I think while he's struggling against lefties, uh, the righties on Tigers are scary, but they, uh, they're sixth worst against strikeouts against right-handed pitching this year. So I think all this suggests is that we are going to go with him in a lot of spots today, and he should pay off handsomely. Second guy I like today is Adam Conley. He's been noth nothing short of amazing this year, and now he gets to face the hapless Brewers in a huge ballpark at home. Brewers are scary against lefties than they are against righties, but I do see a lot of upset at his price today and would project a score somewhere close to Smiley's or even Lester's. Uh, next guy I want to talk about is Nicasio. From what the Raider looks like, I really just don't think this game is going to play today. But if it does, I do think there's a lot of K upside here against Cincinnati. Cincinnati can hit, as they've shown in the past uh, in the past week or so. They've been as bad as everybody said they were going to be. But I also think uh, this gives Nicasio a chance uh, of blowing up that's higher than the guys I mentioned previously. But I do think his strikeout upside is higher than both of those guys. So I think, you know, high upside, high risk type play. He's cheap, so he's not going to hurt you. So um, I think he's somewhere we can look today. Uh, Berrios is, uh, the, we like him for the same reasons we liked him yesterday. That game got rained out for no obvious reason. But um, Baltimore likes to strike out against righties. They also hit the ball very far. So he is somebody who can, uh, it's kind of like Nicasio. He can either give you a bunch of strikeouts or... Uh, uh, and a, and a, a nice uh, score or blow up. So I think he's not as safe as the first two guys me previously mentioned, but he um, is somebody we should definitely take a look at today. Uh, another guy I want to talk about is Chris Davinsky. I watched his last two starts and I really like the skit stuff. He does allow a ton of fly balls, which is scary in Houston, 
but the price is unbelievable. So again, I think there is upside for his price. Last but not least, maybe we have my favorite option here in Adam Morgan. Uh, yes, I did say Adam Morgan, so just hear me out. The Braves are awful against all pitching, but they're especially bad against lefties. Uh, they strike out at a 27% clip and barely, uh, basically make no hard contact whatsoever, as is evidenced by their 0.43 ISO and 0.240 Woba. I rostered uh, Corbin pretty much across the board against them a couple days ago, and it worked out beautifully. Uh, the bullpen blew the win for him, but he still put up a great score for his price. I, I think we can get the same thing here with Morgan and load up on pretty much any bat that we want. So that's a ton of options, but I think uh, they're going to be all loan, owned le relatively low today. So I think we can uh, pair some of those guys together in different combinations and uh, reap, reap some upside. So let's get into some uh, stacks. We're going to start in New York City again. Uh, I'm going to toot my own horn. I basically uh, called the Yankee five home run barrage yesterday. Uh, Tex did let me down in my stack, though. I had him everywhere, and that was not cool what he did. And he looked pretty pretty lost at the plate, to, to, uh, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, anyway, I liked him again today to hit multiple bombs against uh, Chris Medlin. He gives up too many fly balls for Yankee Stadium, and if uh, the wind is blowing out again, I think there's a very good chance they hit three or four home runs. Um, basically, pick up anybody in the, in the order you like that's left-handed. Uh, Beltran, Hicks, Gardner, they all have good upside. I think McCann might, might actually be a favorite play out of all those guys. Um, another uh, stack I want to talk about are the Marlins. They did not blow up yesterday, but Derek Dietrich still gave us a ton of points. Uh, Zach Davies, who they're facing today, is not is not a very good right-handed ground ball pitcher. Dietrich is great against ground ball pitching and great against righties, so I expect a big game from him. I don't know if I really like a Marlins full-out stack, but I like a mini stack here of the lefties for sure. Um, moving on, Manea is a pitcher for the A's that I like, but he's a rookie making his first start at Fenway Park. Red Sox are basically in fuego right now, and uh, Poppy's ownership should be down since he's facing a lefty, and people don't think that he hits lefties just as good as he does righties, but he does. Um, I really like him paired with uh, with Pedroia, Bogarts, and Betts. I think that makes for a really nice nice uh, upside stack at Fenway today. On the other side of the ball, I like the A's, lefties against Sean O'Sullivan. He's apparently a strikeout pitcher in the Marlins right now, but I have a very hard time believing he has uh, changed his ways that rapidly. He was somebody we picked on a lot in the past, and I think we should again. Uh, I really th think the A's make for a nice upside stack at Fenway Park today, and I guarantee they're going to be very low owned. Uh, Pirates make for an awesome stack against Alfredo Simon. Yes, I know I picked against him uh, last, last week, and he did well. He did not implode like he usually does. Well, hooray for him, I still think. We're gonna we're gonna stack against them every chance that we get this year. Uh, this game does look like a rainout candidate, so definitely check uh, the Roth report before you stack up the Pirates. Uh, the White Sox went off yesterday. I was hoping they wouldn't. Uh, it was kind of like one day too early. Uh, Frazier won nuts, hit two bombs, one grand slam in extra innings. I do expect there is ownership to rise from yesterday, but I still think they make for a nice power stack. Um, against uh, Holland. Uh, don't forget, Avisel Garcia is batting low in order here, but he absolutely crushes left-handed pitching, so I think he's somebody that should be part of your stack. Uh, my one uh, sneaky stack of the day are the Rays against Miley in Seattle. I know the ballpark sucks, and Miley's not really that bad at all, but I do think uh, the Rays are pretty much built to crush left-handed pitching, so there's a lot of power we can uh, reap here from uh, from the Tampa Bay uh, stack. Last but not least, let's talk about Coors Field. Uh, and then we're good to go for the day. Do we pay up for Coors? I think there are a couple factors here. Uh, the line isn't as crazy as it was yesterday, which I think is good. Hopefully that will keep ownership down. Also, there should be some rain around the stadium. Hopefully that will keep ownership down. 
I know Robbie is a serviceable pitcher who we have actually played this year, but this is Coors Field, and he struggles against lefties, um, as his past year's stats will show. On uh, you know, Colorado has a ton of great lefty upside bats, so why not roster them, especially if we're paying down for pitching today? Uh, on the other side of the ball, we have Chris Russell and his three seven seven Woba to righties. I just I don't think I need to say any more. Arizona has a ton of, ton of righty power. Uh, Beef, Drury, Goldschmidt, Segura should all thrive in the thin air of Coors Field, just like they did yesterday. Uh, my verdict today is: don't fade Coors, pay down for pitching, pay up for Coors, and differentiate elsewhere. So uh, that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, no matter how busy my day is, I'll always bring you the best GPP plays, and I will be in the Slurf chat room la later on to hash out any uh, any questions that come up. All right, guys, take it easy, and I will talk to you tomorrow.